Hi, I'm Michelle with Tennis Warehouse, and we're at that really fun time of the year where Roland Garros just finished up, so clay court season is over and done with. We're smack dab in the middle of grass court season, and hard court season is right around the corner. So you guys have been asking a lot of questions about the differences in shoes for these different surfaces. So I'd like to keep it nice and simple and give you some of the basic things that differentiate these shoes for these three surfaces. Let's start with a shoe that you're probably very familiar with, a hard court option. We are very familiar with hard courts, especially in the United States. These can be gritty and you definitely want an outsole that's going to have a more durable rubber. Uh, we're seeing a ton of different outsole designs all of a sudden on hard court shoes, but they're basically gonna give you the best traction for anything on a hard court. They're also going to be a more durable option and hopefully keep you out there for hours on end. In the US, we see two types of hard court shoes. They can be speed and lightweight oriented or more durable, more cushioned and more supportive. Oftentimes, those more durable shoes do come with a six month outsole durability guarantee. So that is awesome, especially if you find that you are wearing through the outsoles of your shoes. Um, as we see the game evolve, these outsoles are also being made so you can slide effectively on hard courts. Now from the hard court shoe, let's go straight into clay courts. Clay court shoes have two things that are a bit different than a hard court shoe. The outsole pattern is usually a tighter herringbone pattern, and oftentimes it's just a one-piece outsole. So this is mainly to help you move effectively and efficiently on clay. The clay is gonna slide right through that herringbone outsole. If it does get stuck while you're playing, simply tap the side of the shoe and the clay will fall right out. As far as the upper, we do see that these are tighter knit as well. So this helps keep the clay out of the shoe and not inside your shoe or in your socks. So those are the big differences with a clay shoe. Then moving to a grass court shoe, we don't have as many grass courts in the United States, but our friends over at Tennis Warehouse Europe and in Australia at Tennis Only do get to play on grass courts and they can tell you that the outsole of these shoes look completely different than the previous two shoes we've looked at. They have nubs or dimples on the outsole which will act like a cleat. So the grass can be a slippery surface. It's really essential that you've got the correct outsole for this surface. It's also worth noting that the grass courts usually play faster than a clay or a hard court. So again, you're really gonna wanna make sure your equipment's right and you feel comfortable and confident moving on that surface or any of the surfaces that you are playing on. Hopefully that helps answer your questions about the differences between a grass, clay, and hard court shoe. If you'd like to get a pair, be sure to visit us at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.